Uh, problem two, a test three review, says a person weighs 185 pounds and has a density of 1.7 gram per cubic centimeter. Uh, if they submerged in water, what will be their apparent weight? So we talked about this before that uh, if a person uh, or an object heavier than water goes in water, then the buoyant force of the water on them makes them feel lighter, right? Now, at the outset, when a person sees this kind of problem, they see here pounds, and then they see here the density of the person gram per cubic centimeter, so they feel somehow they have to make them the same units. They have to make them both matrix or something. Actually, in this problem, it turns out you don't have to, right? The density of the person is 1.7 gram per cubic centimeter. We already know the density of the water, which is one, right? So if you go, if the person goes in water, their density is, uh, the density of the person um, is 1.7 gram per cubic centimeter, and the density of the water is 1, 1.0 gram per cubic centimeter. So what's going to happen? Well, let's again visualize what happens. Imagine as if the, the pool that you go in, right, is already full with um, water completely. And then you therefore you displace a volume of water, right? You displace a volume of water equal to your own volume, right? So even though the, the pool doesn't have to spill, but it's just nice to visualize that. The water goes up and spills. If, that, if you weigh that water, right, what's gonna be the weight of that water? <clears throat> that's gonna be the buoyant force, right? In other words, that's Archimedes' principle. Archimedes' principle says, the person will experience a buoyant force from the water equal to the weight of the volume of water that it displaces. Right? So the, if you weigh this, that's going to be FB. That's going to be the buoyant force on him. His own weight is MG, right? So <clears throat> the own weight MG, we already know then that's equal to what? 185 pounds, right? 185 pounds in the British unit system. Now we want to know what is FB in the British unit system. Well. The only thing we know is that it's going to equal to the mass of this amount, the, the weight of this amount of water, right? Which is going to equal to the density of the water, okay? or I could write rho, a Greek letter rho. The density of the water times the volume, right? That's equal to the, uh, the density of the water. Uh, we could write it in gram per cubic centimeter, the times the volume. We know that the, the, his own weight, mg, is equal to the person's mass is equal to the density of the person times the volume of the person, right? Times G. This is equal to what? 185. Okay? The buoyant force, Fb, is equal to the density of the water times what? Times the volume of the displaced water, which is also equal to his own volume times g, right? And we want to know what this is. What is the buoyant force equal to? Well, we could simply make a ratio, right? We can say Fb divided by mg is equal to what? Fb divided by this is equal to this divided by that. The density of the water times Vg is equal to density of the person times Vg. The key th thing here is to realize that the volume of the displaced water is the same as the volume of the person, right? So now Vg, Vg cancel, and you get what? This is equal to density of water, one. This is equal to density of the person, 1.7. And the units cancel because this is a ratio, right? The gram per cubic centimeter, gram per cubic centimeter, they cancel. So now Fp over Mg, is equal to what? 1 over 1.7. <coughs> What's mg? mg is the weight of the person in the British unit system, 185 pounds. So what's Fb therefore? 
uh, FP is equal to, well, 185, it goes over there, 185 divided by 1.7, right? Because the MG is equal to 185. <clears throat> so basically, therefore, here's what happens. The buoyant force on you is just simply equal to your regular weight divided by your density. If you have a density of 2, then it's your regular weight divided by 2. If you have a density of uh, 3, it's your um, buoyant, uh, it's your weight divided by 3. Okay? So let's divide this, see what we get. One eighty five divided by one point seven hundred and eight point eight two pounds. So you get in water, the water pushes you up with a force of hundred and eight point eight two pounds, right? Now what's your apparent weight? Your apparent weight is the difference of the two. The difference of one eighty five and hundred and eight. Apparent weight. 185 minus 108.82. 185 minus, <clears throat> it's going to be 76.18 pounds. <coughs> so 76, uh, in the answers I have 76.2 pounds, but that's fine. 76.18 pounds. Okay? So let's try to do this kind of quicker. Uh, let's say I have different numbers. Let's say you have a 185 pound person gets in the water, their density happens to be three gram per cubic centimeter. Okay? How much would they uh, uh, weigh in water? What would be their apparent weight? So let's do it kind of quickly. Okay, so the buoyant force will be equal to 185 divided by 3, right? <coughs> so that's equal to what? 61.6666 repeating sixes, right? Okay, then the parent weight will be 185 minus 61.6. So 185 minus... 123.3. So now that you kind of know how to approach this, you can kind of do it quickly. Whatever your weight, whatever your density, divide them, subtract it from your weight, that is your apparent weight. So what, what do we learn? The denser you are, the, that means the more muscular you are, the more muscle mass you have, the less the water affects you when you get inside of water, right? The buoyant force of the water 61, here it's 108. So the, the less the water is able to push you up and the heavier you weigh in water. Whereas if you have the same mass but your density is less, you still um, you weigh 76 pounds in water. So the water affects you more than a muscular person, right? This kind of shows you how to solve these kinds of problems. Thank you.